How's it going everyone? This is Mark with AtTech and I'm very excited today to bring you a first look of Microsoft Edge for Mac. It's been a long time since Internet Explorer has been on the Mac and now they are finally back with the developer preview of Edge. I got it installed on my computer right here. So let's go ahead and check it out. See what's going on with this and maybe if you might want to be using this one as your main browser when it finally comes out. So first of all, I've got a link to it in the description below. If you want to try it out for yourself, Again, this is a developer preview, so it's going to have some bugs. It may not even be completely finished, but if you want to check it out, link will be down below. So when we open Edge up for the first time, it's going to offer you three different settings for how you want it to look. We've got Inspirational, which has an image, and then some of your frequently visited sites on the bottom. We have Informed, which shows you some news. And then we have Focused, which just has the links. So. I will go with inspirational and we can scroll down and see news and all of that sort of stuff. We can even sort by different genres of articles and there's even more down here. We'll go with money and we can see that we got even more stuff right there. So this is edge. We can search the web right here and of course, it is going to search in Bing. That is how it is. I haven't really tried changing it yet, but that may be something you can change in settings. Speaking of settings, we don't got a ton of things to change, but there are a couple of neat things I want to point out. First of all, we have our user profiles, just like we do in Chrome. So you can have different bookmarks and settings for different users. There is the appearance section where we can change things like the fonts and all that sort of stuff. But we can also do a dark mode. So if we search for dark mode, as you can see nothing shows up. It's coming, but it's not here yet apparently. Other than that, there's not a ton of things really that you want to care about in settings. There are a couple things I noticed. And most importantly is that if we go to about Microsoft Edge, as you can see, this browser is made possible by the Chromium project. Chromium, for those who don't know, is the open source version of Chrome. Many, many web browsers are built off of that. Opera is built off of Chromium, Vivaldi, and now Microsoft Edge. So this is basically a rewrapped, edited version of Chrome made by Microsoft. So there you go. Chrome is a superior browser because everything is made off of it. So. Yes, this is just Chrome, but a different version with a couple of new features. So keep that in mind. But anyway, we got a couple of interesting things. First of all, we have an apps page, which has nothing on it. And I'm not really sure how you add the apps, but there is a section right here where we can manage the apps. If we go to chrome.google.com slash web store, as you can see, we have all these extensions. Let's say I want to add honey and we click a lot extensions from other sites and Hey, we can now add to Chrome. So yes, this still does have full access to the Chrome web store as you would expect on any Chromium projects. So yeah, it's still basically Chrome, but you can add extensions that aren't in the Microsoft extension store. If we go to get extensions from the Microsoft store, you can see, these are all of the Microsoft extensions that they have right here. You can install them right here, just like you would on the Chrome store, but this is an internal type of store rather than the Chrome web store, which is external, potentially harmful. So keep that in mind. But yes, there is an extension store for Microsoft. So browsing around the web, it's actually fine. It's just a normal Chrome browser or any other web browser for that. It works fine and it seems fairly responsive other than a couple of missing features that you would expect. It's actually pretty good. I like the new animations that you get when you're loading a page. So if we load up Google, you got that little spinning wheel, kind of like the, the Microsoft traditional spinning wheel, which is pretty nice. But you know, there's not a lot to it. There's not a ton of settings which is still going to change. So yes, things are still coming and there's not a ton of 
really cool things you can do with this. Yes, it does integrate some of Microsoft's things like the web page monitoring to keep you away from harmful or malicious websites. You got integration with Microsoft's accounts. So you can sign in with your Microsoft account and sync settings between devices. You can sync between the Edge on your Windows computer and then Edge on here. Given the Edge isn't really liked and is really only used for the act of getting Chrome on Windows, I'm not sure how well it's gonna be adopted on Mac, but it is a very cool thing to see that they're finally making their way over. Safari, I don't think has been on Windows in forever. So it's cool seeing that Microsoft is working on Mac stuff as well. They recently just published all of their Office software on the App Store. So it's cool seeing them do a lot of the stuff on here. And there you go. That is your first look at Microsoft Edge on Mac. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech and I'll see you in the next one.